All right, we're ready to uh, go ahead and start planting. Uh, my wife wanted some zucchini. Uh, the cool thing about planting in the aquaponics is that uh, the top of the gravel is always going to be dry, so you're not going to get um, weeds or things like that. And when you just bury, when you dig down just a good, you know, inch, you already have moist rocks. So we're going to go ahead and bury these uh, plants. And if Chad can help me out. Absolutely. And we're just going to do a row of zucchini. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plant other plants. Uh, you can plant seeds as well, but we're going to go ahead and try kicking off the system. To cycle a system, uh, we're going to go ahead and check the pH balance of our water. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of ammonia just to kick off the system. And ammonia will turn into uh, nitrate. And then bacteria will turn that into nitrite. And that's what plants eat and they'll convert that to purify the water and then the cycle starts. Okay, as you can see, the water has a slight brownish color and the reason for that is I added uh, liquid seaweed from Maxi Crop, uh, added a quart to our system and they recommend a quart for about 200 gallons, which is what our system has. Uh, the reason for that, uh, we are adding plants before the system has cycled and uh, this aids in giving the plants nutrients that it will need during, before the system, you know, cycling on its own. So um, this is not a must, but definitely recommend. Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how to cycle your aquaponics system. And you wanna do it first without fish, especially if you use tilapia fish, because they are quite expensive. Uh, so how to cycle your system. What you wanna do is you introduce two teaspoons of ammonia to your system. And you can add it to either tank, it doesn't matter. And uh, you wanna do that each day until you start seeing levels of nitrite. Once you start seeing levels of nitrite, you're on target, you're, you're moving in the right direction. Uh, shortly after that, you should be seeing levels of nitrate. Once you see levels of nitrate, then you have a complete cycled system. Uh, you can then add your fish or if you want to continue to cycle it, you just slowly add your ammonia and make sure your ammonias aren't too high because you don't want to, uh, to overdo it. Uh, so uh, here we're going to go ahead and start to add our fish since we've already gone through our cycle system. Hey guys, I'm excited to say that we finally got our tilapia fish. Uh, we ordered 40 of them and um, before you order fish, any kind of fish, um, you want to make sure that your local laws allow you to breed them because with the aquaponic system you do want to have them reproduce and uh, that makes you a breeder. So you want to make sure that you're allowed to do that and you're not violating any laws. Uh, um, okay, so with that said, you have your bag that it comes with. You want to set it in your aquaponics water and uh, the purpose of that is to make sure that the temperature inside the bag reaches the same temperature as your aquaponics system and uh, roughly about 20 minutes or so will do the trick. Uh, so we'll let it sit here for 20 minutes and then we'll show you how to introduce water to get them to uh, acclimate to your aquaponic system. Okay, welcome back. So we've had our bag sitting in the water for about 20 minutes and now the temperature should be about the same. Uh, what you wanna do then is uh, open the bag and remove the rubber band. And it's on there pretty good, so there we go. We'll toss that aside. And uh, the acclimation process uh, basically consists of uh, four cycles. What you wanna do is you wanna add about 15% of water into the bag and at five minute intervals. So first we'll, uh, we'll do about 15%, which is gonna be roughly uh, one of these cups. And now we're gonna wait about five minutes. And what that's going to do is start to introduce the fish to the, the pH of the aquaponic system with the nitrates and nitrites and the other, uh, the other chemicals and uh, nutrients that are in the water so they start to adapt to them. Uh, you don't wanna shock them. The last thing you wanna do is open your bag and dump your fish into your aquaponic system. Uh, you could potentially kill your fish. And like I said before, with, um, with tilapia fish, they are kind of expensive and that's the last thing you wanna do is, uh, is kill them. Okay, we finished our five minute cycle process of adding 15% water. We've done three cycles. 
and uh, now the fish should be well acclimated to the water of our aquaponics system and now it's time to introduce our fish to the system so all you got to do is just dump them on and in All right, and a special thanks to uh, Tilapia Depot for providing fish to us. And uh, check, we'll check back shortly on seeing how the fish are doing with the aquaponics system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.